In this video, we'll show you the basics of setting up your provider profile and getting your camps or classes listed on Six Crickets. First, you'll need to sign up for a Six Crickets user account. This is done by clicking on Sign Up at the top right corner of our website. Now your user account will allow you to sign in and access your provider profile along with any of the other services that we offer. If you received an invite email from a school to use our registration service, then you want to be sure to use the same email address at which you received that invite email. Now this is important because when the school sent you that invitation email, a provider profile was created and associated with that same email address. Now feel free to pause this video now while you create your Six Crickets user account. Alright, now that you've signed up, you're ready to set up your provider profile. To access the provider dashboard, click on Providers at the top, and then click on My Dashboard right here. The provider dashboard is where you go to manage everything to do with your camp and class registrations. Now feel free to have a look around, but if this is your first time here, you'll most likely be taken directly into the setup wizard. If you're not there yet, you can click on the pink Get Started button. Now step one is where you fill out your basic business information. Much of this information is what parents will see when they're checking out your provider profile on Six Crickets. And just note, any of the fields with the red asterisks are required. Now once you fill out everything to your liking, you can click Save and Continue. Step two is where you can set up seasons. Now seasons are helpful if you want to set the same registration period across multiple camps or classes. They also come in handy for organization. Now this is an optional step and you can always set these up later on. To advance to the next step, we can just click continue. Step three is where we begin setting up your camps or classes. Now before we continue, I wanna explain two important terms used within Six Crickets, programs and sessions. Now programs describe the what and for whom of a camp or class. From the parent's perspective, the program describes what their child will learn and experience. It also defines who can attend by grade or age. Sessions describe the when and where of a program, and a program can have multiple sessions, and each session can be at different dates, times, and locations. To start creating a new camper class, click on the big pink button right here. The first step here is to enter the details for the program. Now the program name and program description are some of the most important parts on this page. You also want to be sure to set either a grade or age range. And keep in mind that these items, aside from an image, are the first things that parents will see about your camper class. And once you've filled out everything to your liking, we can just click Save and Continue. Now, this is where we create a session for your program and set the when and where for your camper class. If this session is not held at a school, then you want to select No for the first question and create your own location by clicking the Add a New Location link right here. If this is an after-school class held at a school, then you want to select Yes, and this will provide you with a list of schools to choose from. And if your school is not in this list, you can contact our support team who will be more than happy to help you out. And after setting your location, you want to set the maximum number of available seats, the days of the week your session will run, the start and end dates, and the start and end times. You also want to be sure to enter any skip dates in case any of your classes happen to fall on a holiday. You should also set an appropriate registration period. Now the registration period determines when your camp or class will be available to accept registrations. Once the state has passed, parents can no longer register for the session. And just a quick note, the skip dates and registration period fields may be overwritten by school season policy. If these fields are grayed out and you need to make changes to them, then you'll want to contact the enrichment coordinator at the school. And once you're done filling out all the information here, we can click Save and Continue. After you've saved your new session, you're brought to the Session Overview page. Now this is where you can create additional sessions for your new program, but you can also cancel, duplicate, and edit sessions that you've already created. Now once you're done here, you can move on to adding a photo for your new program. Even though this is an optional step, we highly recommend uploading an appropriate photo since this will be something to catch the eye of parents when they're looking over several other programs on Six Crickets. Now you also have the option of linking a video through YouTube or Vimeo. And as always, once you've done that, you can click Save and Continue. 
Now we're brought back to step three of the setup wizard. If you have more camps or classes to set up, you can pause this video and go through the steps we just completed. And once you're all done here, you can click continue. On step four, we explain the details of cancellation procedures and allow you to set your own cancellation policy. Now remember, it is important to make sure your cancellation policy is detailed and concise. Now this is so that parents will fully understand your procedures if they need to cancel their child's registration. Step five is where you can set some general settings for your provider profile, such as contact information, notification settings, general program and session settings, and if you're running any camps, you can set extended care, lunch, and snack settings here. Then when you're done, you can click continue. Now, this is how you get paid. Six Crickets integrates with an online payment company called Stripe. Now Stripe provides secure and automatic payments for your registrations. To learn more about Stripe, you can click the link here. Now you need to set up a Stripe account and connect it to your provider profile so you can receive automatic payments. To do so, please click on the blue Get Paid Through Stripe button. And a new window from Stripe will pop up and you can begin setting up your Stripe account. If you already have a Stripe account, you'll see an option to sign in right here. Now once you've completed setting up your Stripe account, you can click continue to the final step. Once you've connected to Stripe and have your programs and sessions set up, your registration portal will be live and ready. You can view your registration portal by clicking the schedule and register button here. And we recommend that you place this button or a register link at the most visible places on your website so that parents can easily register for your camps or classes. Now to add this register button, simply copy and paste the HTML code that we provided. Or if you prefer a different look, just make sure to use this red line as your registration portal address. Now we also recommend that you announce your newly listed sessions and the register link at all your marketing channels like e-newsletters and social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now we're brought back to the provider dashboard. From this page, you can access all the different parts of your provider profile. Now some key pages that are good to know are custom questions, discounts, revenue reports, and email templates. Also, once you begin to receive registrations, you can manage your rosters from the rosters page, which you can access with this button. You'll also find a link to this page and all other pages in the menu to the left. If you have any questions, you can click on the help button here where you'll find our knowledge base center and the option to contact us through live chat. You can also reach us through email at support at sixcrickets.com. We're always happy to help. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you have a great day. Bye for now.